Howdy guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Ben and today I want to talk about my export settings for Instagram uh, in Affinity Photo. Uh, I think that Instagram is still probably one of the best ways to get your work out there and get it seen by a lot of people. So I want to show you how I export my photos so they look best on Instagram without any uh, dropping quality or weird cropping issues. So with that being said, let's dive right in. Okay, so when I know that I'm going to be uploading to Instagram, my export process actually starts on the shoot date. And that is because of something called aspect ratios. So let me explain real quick. So if you're shooting with a uh, mirrorless camera or a digital SLR, more than likely you are shooting at a three by two aspect ratio. Now that doesn't matter if it's a full frame camera or an APS-C crop sensor. Uh, most of them are going to be three by two. Uh, if you're shooting micro four thirds, micro four thirds is actually a little bit smaller. It's at a four by three aspect ratio. So what does that mean? So that means that if you were to upload to Instagram, you're going to notice that Instagram has an aspect ratio of four by five, which is a lot smaller than three by two. So that means that if you have an image at three by two, you're going to have to crop out the top or bottom or somewhere in between. Let me show you what that means. So let's say, for example, I have an image like this where it's a head to toe uh, full body portrait at a three by two aspect ratio. Now, if I look at an Instagram four by five aspect ratio, you can see that it does not cover the whole image, which means that when I upload this Instagram, I'm gonna have to either do a weird crop like this, or I can crop, but I cut her off at the ankles. That looks kind of strange. Or I can do a much tighter crop like this, but then again, it kind of defeats the purpose of having a full body portrait. So in this kind of situation, there's a few options. Let me go ahead and turn this off. Um, I actually made a whole video about this, how to recrop and resize your images for Instagram. But as a real quick uh, recap, you can come over to your crop tool and I have it set to four by five already. And you can do something like cropping outside your image. We'll do something like this, hit enter. And now I have a four by uh, five aspect ratio image. And if I want, I can go to layer, new fill layer. I'm going to put that actually behind my image. And now I have these white borders. And if I want, I can click on the move tool here and I can change that to black or gray or whatever I want. Uh, but I also talked about in my other video how you can do something like take your marquee tool, grab some of this background, oops, duplicate it. Let's deselect and then I can actually stretch out the background so I can actually, in a sense, just expand the background. Um, now with an image like this, which is pretty simple, it's pretty easy to do something like that. But if you have a more complex image, maybe something like this, it's just going to be a bit more work to have to expand that background. So when I'm shooting, I'm always keeping this four by five aspect ratio in mind. So let me show you how that works. So let's say, for example, I have this image here. It's already been cropped and ready to go for Instagram. But this is not what I saw in the camera. To show you what I actually saw, let me turn these off, is this is what I saw. So I saw this. And as you can see, there's a lot of headroom and a lot of empty space. That's because I know that I'm going to have to fit this image into a 4x5 crop. And actually, if I show you what I actually cropped to, I did actually crop in a lot more. Now, I know that you might be thinking, well, what about all that information you're losing? You're losing megapixels, you're losing resolution. That's true. But Instagram actually has a maximum resolution, at least currently as of 2023. Instagram has a aspect ratio of four by five and a maximum resolution of 1080 by 1350, which is actually quite small. If I show you what that looks like here, you're going to see this. This is 1080 by 1350 uh, in my image. So you can see it's a very small portion of your picture. So even though I'm cropping down to something like this, I still have plenty of information and plenty of megapixels to work with when I'm uploading to Instagram. Okay, so just to pop in for a second, because I forgot to mention this while I was recording the video initially, is how do you know how to crop? Well, I imagine if you're shooting with a newer digital SLR or mirrorless camera, most of those will give you options to display crop lines uh, in your viewfinder or on your screen. So you'll have guides to know where you're cropping at. 
I know for my camera, which is about 10 years old at this point, um, I can display uh, a grid within the, let me turn this off. I can display a grid within my viewfinder and I've kind of found that this grid lines up really nicely with the uh, four by five. So for me, if I'm doing it this top line uh, that I know that I'm gonna be good. So a lot of times my photos have a lot of headroom because I know I'm gonna be cropping it out later on. Okay. So with all that being said, we have our image, it's cropped, it's ready to go for Instagram. What, what's my process? Very simple, it's basically two steps. Uh, the first thing, like I mentioned, is that because Instagram has a resolution of 1080 by 1350, I wanna make sure that that's what I'm uploading to Instagram. If I were to upload this full size image, which I think right now is, so it's 3,600 pixels by 4,500, that's pretty big, which means if I upload that to Instagram, they're going to do their own compression and rescaling to get it down to that 1350 by 1080 size. I want to be in control of that process. That way, when I'm uploading it to Instagram, they shouldn't be adding any more compression on top of what I've already done. So the way I do that is pretty simple. I go to document, resize document, and I'm going to change this to 1350, hit enter. That should automatically go to 1080 and hit resize. And now I'm looking at a picture that is one for one, ready to go for Instagram. If I zoom in here, you're gonna see that we did get a loss in quality. Things are a lot softer, but at this size, when you're viewing it on your phone, it's gonna look fine. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is add a little bit of sharpening just to make sure it looks really nice and sharp on Instagram. So I'll come down here to this uh, live filters and I just go to unsharp mask and usually the radius, maybe around five or six pixels. Factor can be around five or six. And that's just gonna add a little bit of sharpness, basically contrast to make the image look a little sharper. And that's gonna be just enough to make it look really good on Instagram. And once I have those two things done, then I go to File, Export, and make sure it's at 1080 by 1350. Name it to whatever you want hit export, and then that is ready to go for Instagram. Now, what if you also wanna show a close-up of your image? Sometimes you're gonna have like uh, two posts so that one is the full body shot and then the next one is gonna be a close-up. If you're gonna do that, make sure you're doing your own crop from your full-sized image. So if we were to do a crop of something like this, if we were to crop into Instagram with that picture that we just made, you're gonna see that it's a very low quality uh, version. It's a very low quality picture. We don't wanna do that, right? So let me go ahead and undo all this stuff here. So if I want to upload a close up, I'm gonna do that crop with my highest quality image. So I'm gonna come over here, maybe do a crop something like this to show a lot of the detail. Hit enter. And as you can see, we still have plenty of sharp information. And if I go to document, resize document, you can see that's still bigger than the maximum resolution for Instagram. I'm gonna change it to 1350, hit enter. You can see it's like half, uh, one point pix, point one pixel smaller, but that's still fine. Hit resize, and now this is going to be a really good close up with a lot of detail for Instagram. And then you can come over here and still do your on sharp mask and add a little bit of sharpness just so it looks nice and crisp and then you are good to go same thing file export maybe name it something like close up and you should be good okay so there is one issue you might run into when you're doing a manual resize and that is going to be more so take a look at this image here pretty typical portrait but if we come over here and look at the dress, you can see that it's very sharp and it's got a lot of detail. And if I go over to document, resize document, um, and I think it's set by bilinear by default. If I go to 1350, hit this, and I hit resize, you're gonna see that it has a lot of more coming up. A lot of that fine detail kind of gets compressed in a weird way. So in order to avoid that, you can, let's first undo this. You can go to document, resize, and you can set it to by cubic. I found that by cubic, let's go ahead and change 1350. I found that by cubic will do a resize, but it will avoid a lot of more. This might be dependent on each picture. And then after that, 
I'm um, come over here and do my unsharp mask and do something like this. That way it looks already good and ready to go for Instagram. And if you want to speed up this whole process, sorry about that. If you want to speed up this whole process, I actually have a macro that I made pretty simple. It's just called Instagram tall. You can see that it's just three steps. And when I click on it, it automatically resizes the image and it automatically adds an unsharp mask. Now this one has the um, bilinear uh, resizing. So it's got that more, but this more issues that something that comes up very, very, very infrequently. And when it does, I'll just have to come in here and just do it manually. But for a lot of other images like this one here, let's go ahead and undo all this. Let's go back to my initial image. Once I know I have my full size image here, I can just click on my macro and then it automatically is set to go to Instagram. Then all I got to do is just export it and you can see it's already rescaled. All right, guys, so I hope you found this video helpful and I would love to actually hear some of your export settings for Instagram. This is just what I do and I don't claim that they're the best settings, but I found that these work best for me. Um, so I'd love to hear what you guys do. But until then, uh, thanks for watching. And again, I appreciate all your comments. And then uh, I guess I will see you in the next video. All right, guys. Peace.